brief announcement about next month, uh, February 22nd. We're doing, uh, well, partly celebrate um, Black History and Day and uh, Month, and uh, Roger Blenman, who some of you know, and Marcy Miller will be hosting. And I'm going to present a poet uh, from the present, Adina Sumter Freitag. So I won't have to host. I won't have to host next month. We also have the children of Zion, Vancouver, that will be singing and dancing. So I think it'll be quite interesting. And again, open mic, people welcome to come. And we're celebrating women of color because um, in World Poetry, we've been getting so many worries about people being treated badly. And so I thought it was really important that we all come together and be inclusive, caring for each other, no matter what we look like or where we come <coughs> from. And the other bit of news is that we're going to start a World Poetry Canada International newsletter with our directors overseas and other places. So that will be very exciting. Um, I want to start with the open mic people, but first I'd like to see if Koza would do a tanka with her instrument. It's an African instrument. Are you able to do a tanka or two? Oh, okay. Because we have a bit of time. No, 8.30 we don't. So you can explain the instrument. I, got a, I was so inspired by her that I got a Peruvian little tiny flute. But I don't dare bring it anywhere because I would clear the room at this point. <laughs> So please welcome her, and she'll maybe read one or two and then do the music. And I always wondered why in, that they repeat twice, right? Repeat twice. Repeat twice. Who does that time? I just read one. Uh, read two. One? Yeah. And explain about the instrument, maybe. Yeah, okay. This small instrument is called a uh, kalimba. It's from Africa. But actually, this was made in the States. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it through internet. <laughs> but it's um, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So I'll read uh, some tanka poems from this uh, journal. And if you like, it's free. So you can take one point before you go, go away. Okay. So I'm looking for Okay, uh that's one interesting one. Title is it's a code of cat. Lying there at the end of the bed. My cat shows me what being fully content is all about. This is called uh, Tom Frozen. Lying there at the end of the bed, my cat shows me what being fully content is all about. Can you get the mic closer? I don't think we're going to It's hard to hold it. I know. I, yeah. know I, I think even if you get your voice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Thank uh, you very okay. much. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, another cat <clears throat> Like mornings when all four of us came down to breakfast. She still waits for him, our second, our second cat, by Barry George. Like mornings when all four of us came down to breakfast, she still waits for him, our second cat. Very short one, the wildlife. A mountain and a bee together ending summer in the buttercups. 
Michael McClintock, a month and under the Tomiada ending summer in the buttercups. <laughs> it's a very, very short po poem, but they sound uh, very nice, and uh, it's a small universe. Yeah, yeah. So, are there different variations of tanka? Because I write the one three five seven seven style of tanka. Are there different variations as there are in Thai? Oh, there is Japanese. It, it's fixed, strictly. Japanese five five seven five seven seven Japanese yeah. syllables, but in English, oh, it's okay. quite different language. Yeah, so a yeah. little bit uh, uh, freer, freer than yeah. Okay. But should be five lines. Well, we like we use five lines mm -hmm. and very very short uh, phrases, but short sentences. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So you can see some examples in this journal. Yeah, so please read through. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.